Dear residents of Potong Pasir, I want to start by thanking all our residents for giving me the opportunity to serve you in the last 20 years. I stepped into Potong Pasir in November 2000. I was elected as your Member of Parliament in 2011. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for all the encouragement, the motivation that you have given to me and my team. The Potong Pasir that you see today is very different from the one that you saw in year 2000 when I first came and in 2011 and 2015. You can see and feel the difference. The Potong Pasir that you are going to see in 2025 is also going to be very different from what you feel and see today. It is going to be a lot better. It is going to be warmer because we are going to do a lot more for you. In Potong Pasir, we have a slogan, ABCD. What does ABCD stands for? It stands for acting beyond call of duty. And that is the way we go about doing our work. Within our team and in me myself, we always do more than what we are supposed to do. That's why we are always acting beyond call of duty. I always tell my team members, even if you think this is not your responsibility and it's only remotely linked to what you have to do, take it upon ourselves and serve our residents better. And let's do the job and help our residents. What is this election about? This election is about how we are going to care for our three generations in Potong Pasir, our seniors, our middle-aged residents, and our young residents. I have a responsibility to ensure that all our residents in Potong Pasir are taken care of. In this respect, I thank all our residents for your input in allowing us to summarize this. You may already have had a chance to look at it. This is our five-year plan. Thank you very much for all your input because this is not my plan. This is your instruction to me. Uh, based on the instructions you have given us, the feedback and the survey forms, we have summarised our fire plans into as much as we can, pictorial form, so that it's easy for you to look at. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to look at it, I would appreciate if you spend some time, some minutes to go through it. I hope you like it. This is what we want to do for you and we will do a lot more and many more. I have divided uh, today's rally into three segments what we are going to do for the seniors, for the middle age, and for our young as well. And this is roughly how I'm going to organize the rally. Let me now start by explaining how we are going to look after our seniors. In my opinion, the most important thing for our seniors is for them to have good health. So we will do healthcare programs for our seniors. As an example, in Potong Pasir, about 2,000 residents have benefited from our health care programs in the last one year. Uh, there are many things we have done, but let me just give you an example. I was doing a house visit about a year ago, and one lady told me, uh, Mr. Sito, you know, why don't you organize some flu jabs for our residents? And I thought, hey, actually, that's a very good idea. So, we are very lucky to have SATA, which is a non-profit organization with many doctors and medical clinics in Singapore. Uh, they are now in Senate Estate. We have been working with them. Uh, the moment they step in, I went to see them and I went to tell, uh, uh, discuss with their staff, say, can we work together? So we then went to SATA and said, uh, can you order for us 1,000 flu jabs? And they ordered for us. So we had the 1,000 flu jabs to cater to our senior residents in Potong Pasir. Uh, most of the flu jabs uh, have been uh, utilised. Uh, we had to stop for a little while because of COVID-19. Uh, we will resume. I think we have about 200 jabs left. But these are the kind of things that we want to do for our residents. Uh, incidentally, we charge a token fee of $5 uh, for the flu jabs. Uh, if you take the flu jabs outside, uh, it's it will cost, I think, about $30 or something like that. Um, there are many residents who said, uh, can we organise the uh, pneumococcal uh, 
jab for them. I think that is the one that re reduces the risk of pneumonia. We are looking at it. We are looking at it, uh, and I will let you know. It is not just about flu jabs, of course. Uh, we have plans, and we have been doing that. Uh, we bring doctors, nurses to our estate, and we also bring it to Juseng and to uh, other parts of Potong Pase. We have checks on uh, cholesterol, dental, on eye checks. We will continue to do all this. In addition, we have also organised health talks for our residents. During the circuit breaker period, uh, we, we, we didn't rest. We organised health talks for our residents online. And we will continue to do all this. That is the ABCD spirit that we have in Potong Pase. Secondly, for our seniors as well, social support is very important. We have many programmes for social support for our seniors because we want them to come out of their house, uh, mix around with their neighbours, their fellow residents and have the support uh, so that they can have fun and they can live happily. Uh, we want our seniors to have fulfilling, meaningful and very happy golden years. For our needy residents who are seniors in particular, we have what we call the ROSE program. Uh, we have been doing this for the last 10 years where every month we deliver essential supplies to the households of these residents. There are about 400 families who are benefiting from this program currently. We will continue to extend that. In addition, we also have iPad classes for our seniors. They love it, they enjoy it. Uh, we bought, uh, I think, close to about 70 iPads and we started to organise uh, iPad classes for our seniors. Uh, they, they all love it. We even had uh, uh, class, uh, classes for our seniors where they learn how to use their handphone, the softwares inside their handphones, uh, how to take photographs, how to WhatsApp, so on and so forth. We also have planned to have a digital clinic in Potong Pasir. Now, what is a digital clinic? A digital clinic is one where we will teach our seniors how to uh, use the computer, how to communicate digitally using their phone. And these are very important social support programs. Now, at this stage, I'd like to thank one of our residents, uh, Ms. Kala. She wrote to me uh, two nights ago uh, through, an, through an email uh, because she saw in our ma manifesto that I mentioned music therapy. Uh, what is music therapy? Uh, I'm no expert, but as an example, every once a month, on the last Sunday of every month, we had about we have about 400 of our residents that gather and we have a very good singing instructor and they sing and you know some, some people get very happy when they listen to music or, or they sing like for me for example when I'm very stressed I just go for a walk and listen to the radio and after that I feel much better our, our mind and body react differently to uh, different circumstances uh, Kala wrote to me and told me that she's a music therapist and she would like to participate in our program of course, I tell her, yes, uh, we will be contacting her soon. So, input from our residents is very important. If you have ideas as to what we can do, please let us know. Next, I want to talk about the amenities that we are going to provide for our senior residents in Potong Pase. We are in the midst of building a nursing home in Potong Pase. It is the one that's right across the road from Lot 120. Uh, the nursing home will have about 438 beds. There were some comments that we did not consult our residents about this nursing home. This is inaccurate and untrue. In 2016, together with the Ministry of Health, we actually sent out letters and flyers to every household that is near the nursing home. This happened in 2016. Uh, some households responded by giving their comments. We addressed them individually there were about five households uh, that actually objected. Together with Ministry of Health, we engaged every household individually. We have 30% of residents in Potong Pase. They are above 60 years old. It is my responsibility to look after them. I must ensure that our seniors in Potong Pase live happily, age well, and have fulfilling golden years. This is very important to me and to all our residents in Potong Pase. Ever since the plan for the nursing home was confirmed, I have been having many discussions with the operator. 
which is Kwang Wai Siu Hospital. Uh, the nursing home will have about 430 over beds. Potong Pasir residents will, benef will benefit from them. Apart from the nursing home, there will also be an elder care centre in the same building. Our residents can go to the elder care centre and enjoy the facilities there. In fact, we are in the midst of discussing what are the additional facilities we have, we would like to have, apart from the usual ones. Now, in addition to the elder care centre, Kwang Wai Siu Hospital will also be, provi be providing home care services to our senior citizens, to our senior residents. In other words, for our senior residents that need help in their homes, the staff of the nursing home will also be going to their homes to assist. I think this is very useful and very important for all our Potong Pasir residents. This is what we do. We always act beyond the call of duty. For us to be a special and unique community, we must always be bigger than the sum of our parts. Let me now move on to how we are going to care for our middle-aged residents in Potong Pasir. I start off with the COVID-19 pandemic. We all know the COVID-19 pandemic is going to bring about very serious consequences to our economy and in particular our jobs. My plan, I plan to have many job fairs in Potong Pasir so that our residents who are affected can seek new jobs that they would like to. In addition, I also like to discuss with our Ministry of Manpower and our National Jobs Council, which has just been formed, to have a job centre in Potong Pasir so that our residents can go to the job centre, discuss with the officers there and uh, find jobs that are relevant to them. This is a serious problem uh, that we will be encountering. We hope to be ahead of the curve and we will also use the network of uh, business contacts that we have so that our residents can find jobs as quickly as they can if and when they are affected. Secondly, uh, we also want to provide support and relevant interest groups and, and, and care to the young parents and to other middle-aged uh, middle residents in our estate. Uh, it can take many, many forms. Uh, it can be culinary classes, cooking classes, so on and so, and so forth. Uh, let me just share with you one incident that happened about one year ago. I was at the Marine Parade Market near my house at about 6 a.m. in the morning and uh, we were queuing up to pay money uh, because we bought some vegetables. And uh, this lady in front of me had, had many, many vegetables and fruits that she purchased and I struck a conversation with her. And she had a papaya, I remember, and she said uh, she is a culinary uh, coach and a teacher in some CCs and she was telling me how, how she cook uh, soup with papaya. So I then asked her where, where does she teach? Um, she, she doesn't know who I am. Uh, I just asked her where, where, where she teach. And when I got back to our CC, I, I, I told our CC colleagues, uh, please call the CC, get her name and bring her to Potong Pase to teach our residents. So when we see, you know, these are small things, but when, when we see things and, and events that can benefit our residents, we are ABCD. We will always act beyond our call of duty. That is the way we work. Another aspect and another uh, amenity and program that's very popular among our middle-aged residents and also among our senior residents are, is the community garden. In the last five years, we have built several community gardens in Potong Pasir. They are highly popular. If you go to the one near the block 119, there are 50 plots there. Uh, we want to continue doing that. We want to extend the community garden concept to our residents, including our new residents in Potong Pasir. And I think this will bring about a breath of fresh air to everybody. Let me now turn to how we are going to look after our young residents in Potong Pasir. Again, very important because my dream, and I say this every year in our EduSafe ceremonies, my dream, I want the young residents of uh, Potong Pasir to have results that are above the national average. 
some people tell me that that is not my job. That is the Ministry of Education's job. No, it's my job. We are A, B, C, D. We want our young to grow up in an environment where they can have everything they need, whether it is tuition programs or holiday enrichment programs. Uh, we actually had planned to start our tuition programs in Potong Pasir, uh, but because of COVID-19, uh, we, we, we couldn't start it on a physical basis. I actually went to uh, the junior colleges and got their pre-U students to come and coach our younger students in Potong Pasir. It's free of charge. The young uh, residents in Potong Pasir just walk in and they can ask any question that they want. It's not a class, it is a one-to-one -one coaching. Uh, because of COVID-19, we are unable to start this. But what I have done is that, again, we're ABCD, we say we start online. So you can see the screen here, there's a peer tutoring program. And that is what it is. Uh, I think many students in Potong Pasir are benefiting from this. Our pre-university volunteers are teaching our Potong Pasir students online. Uh, the students can range from primary one all the way to pre-university. Uh, the number of participants is increasing. Now, not only do we want our residents to study hard, do well, we also want them to play hard. So, every school holiday, uh, in particular the June school holiday and December school holiday holidays, we will have many programs for our residents. Uh, for them to uh, enjoy themselves and for the family to bond together. As an example, uh, in December last year, we had 24 holiday programs for our young residents and for, our, for their families too. Um, many enjoy themselves, as you can see from the slide, there are Nerf games, they visited many places and uh, this is part and parcel of what we do in our community. We also have our own Potong Base Motivation Awards to motivate our kids. It is, it is of paramount importance. Our kids, our young residents must grow up in an environment where they are well equipped. If you need anything, come and look for Uncle Sito. Uncle Sito and his team will help you. Let me now spend some time to talk about some of the key amenities we are going to have over the next five years. There are many, but in the interest of time, I'll just mention a few. First, we are building an activity hub in Bidadari. Uh, this will be a game changer because our new Bidadari Community Club will be in a shopping center. It is where Woodley Residence is. Uh, it's going to be 60,000 square feet. It's going to be big. We are going to have many amenities there. Uh, I have received the feedback from our residents and uh, your wish is in an instruction to me. We will implement them. There have been many requests for there to be a gym in Potong Pasir. We already have one uh, and that is in our CC. As far as I know, our Potong Pasir gym, which is actually quite, quite good, quite state-of-the-art with very good equipment, is the only gym in Singapore where residents can use free of charge. Currently, we have about 4,000 Potong Pasir residents who are members of this gym. By 2025, there will be at least three gyms in Potong Pasir. One, which is currently at the CC. The second one, uh, Juseng residents may be interested. I intend to build a gym at the Void Deck in Juseng. There is actually a room there, uh, which is currently used as a storeroom. I want to convert that into a gym. Uh, some people were saying whether it's possible. Of course it's possible. I, I have uh, a gym in Lorong Topayo at Block 214. And if you can do one there, doing one in Juseng is not a problem. We will do it. The third gym will be the largest gym, which is the state of the art, uh, at least twice the Potong Pasir CC gym. And that will be in our activity hub in Midadari CC. All our residents will get to enjoy this state of the art amenity there and many more. So with the activity hub uh, that we are going to set up in Midadari, as well as many smaller activity hubs all over the estate, Potong Pasir residents will get to enjoy our social programs, whether it is a, a Tai Chi program, it is an exercise program. Um, trust me, it's going to be good. It's going to be life in Potong Pasir. It's going to be better than it is now. Uh, it will be very enjoyable. We are also going to have a polyclinic within our Potong Pasir estate. 
some residents have asked me where is the polyclinic going to be. Uh, it's going to be in Bidadari and it's going to be near Sida Girls Secondary School. So our residents again can have close proximity to our new polyclinic and as I said, life will be much better than it is now. That is my promise to you. Now, in addition to the three gyms that I have talked about, there have also been requests for there to be a gym tonic facility in Potong Pasir Estate. What is gym tonic? Gym tonic is a, a, a gym where it is catered specially to our senior residents, uh, where there are pressure exercise equipment, which is meant for the elderly. Uh, it's going to be very expensive, but I promise you here today, we will have a gym tonic facility in Potong Pasir, for sure, within the next five years. Uh, now, let me move on to other infrastructure issues. Some residents have given me feedback that uh, the bin shoots in Potong Pasir are wearing out. Now, you're you are absolutely right. The, the bin shoots are wearing out. Um, there, there is an issue because of the design of the Potong Pasir flats, you know, the sloping design, and uh, also some of the rooftops that, that were built. Um, it is not so easy to repair the bin shoots in Potong Pasir. Uh, but I have started talking to Ministry of National Development. I need special funding from them. I think I will get it. It's quite a big sum of money. Uh, so we will start repairing the bin chutes in our Potong Pasir estate. There are about 30 blocks that are affected and about 1,800 household units. So within the next five years, this will be done. I've been getting feedback from you. Uh, I will address it. My promise to you, it will be done. Now, we also want to have an adventure park, our own adventure park in Potong Pasir, where our children will enjoy. You can see the the uh, slide there, there's a photo. Uh, we're going to have it in Potong Pasir. I have already started planning and drawing for it. So look forward to it, please. Since the electoral boundary was announced, I have been walking around Potong Pasir, including our new estates and the new residents that are joining our Potong Pasir family. I have received many feedback. I'd just like to highlight some of them here. Uh, Juseng residents have informed me about the flooding issue at Block 15, uh, the wet floor during rainy seasons. Bali Ridge residents have told me about the traffic congestions and uh, Bidadari residents have also given me feedback. Uh, rest assured, I am taking all your feedback seriously. I have already got quite a file for this. We will address them for sure. I now like to conclude. We are the smallest constituency in Singapore. We have slightly under 20,000 voters in Potong Pasir. But we have very, very big hearts and very, very big plans. Together with you, with your help, we will punch above our weight. We will be far bigger than the sum of our parts. The Potong Pasir that you will see over the next five years is going to be even better than it is now. This is about our three generations, our seniors, our middle age, and our young residents. This is as much my life as it is your life. I have spent 20 years of my adult life in Potong Pasir. It is very important to me. I spent the first 10 years trying very hard to win back Potong Pasir for our residents. As some of you may recall, we finally won back in 2011 with 114 votes. I spent the last 10 years with all my energy, with every breath I have to build Potong Pasir. It is very important that we continue in this momentum and build a better home for all of us in Potong Pasir. In you, we trust. In us, you trust. Please vote for me. Thank you.